I'm sharing my screen, one minute. Am I sharing my screen now? Is it visible? Hello? No, sir, not visual. The screen is not no, sharing, sir. huh? Not, not visual. visual, not visual. Not visual. No, I am sharing. Sir, you share the window. Yeah, I am sharing the window only, sir. Uh, window? I am then sharing the can... window. Uh. I am sharing the window and what to. Now, now is it visible? Sir, is it visible? No, no, it's not visible. Sir, what you will do? Yeah. No, sir. Not visible. You put it in laptop, no? In laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. You, what you do, you uh, open that uh, PPT, minimize it. Yeah. And then do presentation. Yes. Then click on the window. Window or uh, window. It will work. Yeah, but uh, when I'm stores. Sir, actually, you had given permission, and ah. in window it is not showing if I'm going to be minimizing. No, no, sorry, the PPT is in a laptop, no? Laptop or computer? Yeah, 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 laptop, yeah, yeah. yeah. laptop. laptop. Uh, then you present, uh, then uh, uh, you go to the sharing, then click on that uh, uh, screen, enter screen, enter screen. Enter screen, ah. Uh. Uh. The entire screen means the existing screen is coming, sir. Existing screen is coming. That yeah. your that your laptop video is not showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you the, uh, then you can do that in window, sir. You yeah, window only, sir. We used to do window. We must uh, select it and we must share that one. And selecting and sharing, and here it is showing. Meetgoogle.com is sharing window. Yeah. Yeah, it is, but it is not visible for you people. Not visible. Visible. Okay. Okay, sir. Anyhow, I'm going to be starting my class. Huh? Yeah. And I'll go. Uh, they are having their notes. It is not a problem. Okay. Okay, okay. okay sir. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be doing my class, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Very good morning. Still, it is eleven forty-five. Okay. Let us good start morning. with uh, good morning. Uh, yeah. Concept next is uh, market research. Okay. What actually research means? Research means what? I am dividing the same word into two parts: re and search. What actually it is? See, what do you mean by search? Uh, 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 if you're going to be taking any one word, it's self-explanatory. I'm going to be talking about it. You wanted to do, you wanted to know something else, you start to search. You'll find out. But research is going to be telling, go on doing re, re, re on your search. Definitely you can go into know more about it like that. Actually, it is going to be talking about focus, focus, focus. Okay. Let us try to talk about any one particular thing. If, if I'm going to be talking about uh, GSLV rocket, I'm going to be, if I wanted to do where we are weak, Indian uh, ISRO is weak means, if you do research, we'll go and end up with cryogenic engine, okay, which is borrowed by Glasgow from uh, Russia earlier days and we started to produce it with the real, yeah, with the MOU, we started to do it. And we are going to be talking about only one small thing. And in a big topic, we are going to be taking a small thing and start to focus more on that. Re, 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 re. It means that search for, we are going to be defining research as a search for knowledge. What are you going to call? We are going to be defining that one as a search for knowledge. So this is going to be added with another one word called marketing. What do you mean by marketing? Morning I taught. What actually marketing means? Hello. 
what actually marketing means hello mali i heard it as a three part is it not what actually it is the first part is going to be talking about identifying needs and wants of the customer identifying needs and wants of the customer okay second part is going to be telling developing product or services to satisfy your needs and wants third part is going to be selling and telling to achieve organizational objectives and now i'll going to be giving one example we are doing research work to find out the needs and wants what is the need and what is the want of a customer by knowing that need and want i am going to be developing that i think everyone knows about a company called revlon yes sir no whether you are knowing about revlon ha huh? vishaka are you knowing about revlon no sir revlon uh, and uh, cosmetic company you are not all knowing cosmetic company Vishaka, you are not all knowing about cosmetic company, uh, Revlon. Uh, okay. Cosmetic is a cosmetic company, yes, sir. Yes, so yes. So the women's product is made, yes, sir. Women's, especially lady product, yes, sir. Yes. yes. Now, this Revlon, Charles Revlon, and a very young guy who is around seventy-nine years old, he told to this world, "I will sell hope in the drug shop." Revlon, their caption was, "I will sell hope." in the drug shop it means that any girl or woman who is wearing their product they look beautiful it means that they will feel they are looking good that's all that is the caption which was given by them revlon started to do a research work and i will give one small example for you and they came out with a new lipstick and it was costing around 899 rupees i think so in 2008 i think so i am uh, i was taking classes for uh, um, this one uas university of agriculture science there also mba for agricultural marketing one course was there every saturday and sunday morning i used to go to take uh, two subjects and one fine day i was traveling from uh, usa ua university of agriculture science and i saw a very big hoarding and uh, in uh, palace ground and it was selling revlon as released new lipstick and which was costing 899 i was shocked in 2008 9 the 900 rupees is not a small amount and i was shocked and i was not having any this one is that internet in my house and i went to college next day that to sun monday and i started to search for that particular product why you wanted to pay what is the reason revlon started to come out with a new product then when i done some work on there the product how it was developed i'll going to be telling revlon started to do a research work revlon started to do a research work a company called avon a v o n was the first company to start called network marketing in this world these guys were selling they are also known for cosmetics they tapped all housewives in us and started to ask them to sell with their friends and relatives and it was a network if you are going to be making another one member and if they are selling some pro profitability and the companies which were giving that profit for the resellers or retailers or wholesalers was given to housewives and in 1994 and they started to do fantastic business 3 million 4 million 5 million dollar worth of business they started to do with only with network marketing and in 94 they came to know i think uh, growth rate of uh, working women was increasing more than 300% in us and they stopped that network marketing and this revlon started to see what actually working women willing to have they came out with a new product costing 900 rupees it is the target customer when they segmented whole women and girls they came to know two part one is working professional and the one is non working professional non working professional when they are going to be wearing all this cosmetics when they are going for a function 
not every day when they are going out, but a working professional, every day they are going out for office, they are going to be wearing cosmetics. So they wanted to target them with a good product, even though it is cosplayers, they are not all worried about it. So what has happened, this Revlon started to develop a product and they charge 900 rupees for that lipstick. What's the reason why they charge 900 rupees? A lipstick which can be available for, which I, I, I'm telling, if, if you are going to be talking about uh, uh, lipsticks, you can get it for minimum, minimum, uh, I think uh, it can be 800 rupees, 120 rupees like that. Why they are charged 190 rupees? I think one example which I can quote for you is that after reading the product, uh, some details, I came to know why they targeted for working women. The working women target was like this. Earlier days, you would have seen movies. If Amitabh Bachchan is coming out from one room, you could have seen on the cheek of Amitabh Bachchan, there will be a mark of lip. Uh, the lipstick mark will be there on this, uh, this one, what is it, cheek and other things, which was there. And in every woman or girl who are working in their vanity bag, there was a makeup kit. Till then, they are going to be taking. The reason was they wanted to look good when they're coming out of their office also. They'll go to washroom and they'll ready themselves and they'll come back, whether it can be my wife or my daughter or anyone for that matter. That is one thing. You, uh, women, women or girl means they are going to be like that. This is the problem which was there. By seeing this problem, Revlon, by doing after a lot of research work and the growth rate of uh, this particular working woman was increasing, made Revlon to come out with a product called, that is a lipstick which is costing 900 and they are told 12 hours warranty. If you are wearing it morning, till 12 hours we are giving warranty, it never, even though you are wiping it out, it never goes. Okay. And a lot of time, girls, they won't eat when they are putting lipstick. Uh, it is very difficult for them to eat. And they are going to be telling in some part if lipstick is going out, it never looked nice like, nice like that. Even they never take juices in straw when, when they are going to be using lipsticks. If you are wearing this type of lipstick, it never happens to you because the told transfer resistance. Okay, Transfer resistance means earlier days in movies you could have seen, I told no, in Amitabh Bachchan uh, cheeks you could have seen uh, lip mark. But if you are wearing this lipstick and even though someone is kissed on their cheek, it is never transferring like that. And if you are putting genuine product on your lip, it never transfer. Your uh, lipstick is not all transferred to that particular product, transfer resistance. See, I am talking about the qualities of the product which was developed by Revlon, where the product cost a little bit higher and they were charging that one for premium price because working, working women, they never think about their spending when it comes to spending for themselves. When it comes to spending for themselves. This made, this made the company to spend okay, more and they started to get the very good market. So nowadays you can see mad finishing, this one, that one. Lot of products have came with high quality and the cost is not less. The question here is that they had taken this. What is the reason? The reason is that whether the research made the company to come out with a good product or not. Please say. Yes or no? Is it not? Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah. So, is it important or not now market research before doing any one particular product? Is it important or not? Okay. So, yes, now let us come with what actually market research means. Okay, market research is not a big thing. It is a process which is going to be done. A process, what actually the process is going to be? It is systematically collecting the data, okay? And interpreting the data and analyzing, the, analyzing and interpreting the data and reporting the data to solve the existing problems. It makes systematic collection of data and you are going to be analyzing, interpreting and reporting the data to solve the exist 
existing problems or issues. The two existing problems or issues where it is going to be existing, it is only in the hands of marketing. So uh, it is going to be giving an input or insight for marketing people if you're doing a research work. Okay, so uh, it is an information which you're going to be doing. From this information, you can try to take action. So why uh, you can try to find out what is the behavioral pattern of the consumer. So this is very important one. Marketing research is very important one. Let us go with why marketing research, importance of marketing research. Let us try to take one small example. First one, changing the environment and changing market policies. Market is not at all static, I told morning. It is dynamic. Definitely the environment is going to be changing. And according to that, your policies should be changed. And you should not be stuck on to any one thing. If you are seeing old, this one, what is that? Uh, Mahendra, you are going to be confused. What is this? Mahendra was having only village jeep, that's all. How Mahendra changed? After Mahanand Mahendra took that one, he, there was a drastic change. The share value of uh, Mahendra was around 40-50 rupees when he took that office. It went to 1200-300 rupees. And he made one product to be number one in this world and till date, nobody can beat them. Nobody can beat them. The reason why I am telling all these things is when, when a company is going with anyone research work, they will come to know. They saw there was a very big demand for tractors and it was only supplied by Taffe, Massey and Ferguson and England company. And the supply was very less and which was taken care by that, uh, this one, what is that? Tractor and farm equipment. Okay. It was a subsidiary company and they, they couldn't do that work and Mahindra started that. Now, they are number one in India. They are having lion market share around 75 to 80%. They beaten John Deere in US. They are number one there also. Throughout worldwide, they are dominating. They came back to India. They saw there was a success in uh, Sumo. They came up with one Scorpio. The design of Scorpio, I am going to be taking one case for operations management. It was not all developed by Mahindra company. Only supplies design that Scorpio, uh, this one, what is that product? And it was one of the success. They came up with the SUV. When everyone talking about MUV and SUV, they told it is not MUV or X SUV. That is multi utility, utility or sports utility. It is next generation utility vehicle, SUV 500. Now they made it 700. And within 10 minutes, this one lakh product were, I think, uh, booked 700. And if you go for Mahindra Thar, Waiting period is six months to one year. Mahindra Thar Waker. I'm talking about the market is changing. They are not all stagnated for any one particular product. They came out with uh, XUV 400, 300, a lot of products are coming up. This is only one thing which is happening because of changing environment and the company's market policy is also going to be changing. And you must have very good Salesforce management when I want to be talking about it. And you must have forecasting thing. I'm going to be talking in depth of forecasting. And the next one is that marketing mix planning. As I told you in the morning, product, price, promotion, place of distribution. These three things, four things is going to be having an effective implementation of these four things, making a company to be successful. You can talk about product or you can talk about place of distribution or you can talk about promotions which makes a product to be number one or you can talk about pricing let, let us try to take geo how they made it like this n number of companies are there and with all these things if a company wanted to become all of a sudden a very big company in strategies we are having n number of strategies mergers and acquisition is one strategy what do you mean by merger if two companies come into one it is called as a merger. If two companies are going to be, one company is going to be acquiring another company, it is called as an acquisition. How a small company is becoming a big company. So when we are going to talk about, okay, a strategy in this particular thing, okay. When, when, when a company is going to be growing organized way, 
it is going to be taking a lot of time. Let us try to take one small example. Think that you started your career, you started to earn money and no support. You are getting married and both of you start to earn. It is around two and a half crore, two and a half crore, five crore you are going to be earning. And after that, what are you going to be doing? After five crore, you are going to be taking uh, this one, whatever you want to call uh, flat, house, other things. And your kid, uh, this one, what is that? Uh, education, marriage and your savings. That's all. This is only one thing. This is organized growth. Okay. Unorganizedly, if you wanted to grow, means you must try to marry a girl already who is having a car, already who is having a flat, already who is rich. All of a sudden, you will become a rich person. 30 years promotion you are going to get. Like that, when there is an MBA is going to be happening between two companies, a small company is going to become, all of a sudden, a very big company. Okay. The next one is, how to look towards business. This research is going to be telling to you what you wanted to see in future and how it is going to be making to be very bright for you. A okay, lot of companies in this world by doing market research, they, I think, uh, killed a lot of competitors, a lot of competitors. Okay. Now let us go with uh, the next part. Process of marketing research. I think if you are going to be doing any anyone uh, research work, you rank some steps. So uh, let us start with these particular steps. Okay. The first part is that properly defining the problem. What actually is? If you define problem properly, your research is off solved. That is the question. Let us try to take one example. I think you people have seen old doctors. My father-in-law is also a doctor who graduated in 1967-68. He done his MBBS. If I'm going there, he is around 76, 77 years old. If I'm going to him and if I'm going to be asking, he's going to be treating me with symptoms. He's going to be asking some symptoms. According to that, he's going to be treating. It is called as a symptomatic treatment. He's going to be, are you going to be urinating more? Are you sweating more? He's going to be asking a lot of questions. If you are sweating more, if your head is reeling, it's going to be telling some you are having BP. Earlier days, if you become thin, if you are urinating more, they used to be thinking that you are having sugar. Like these symptoms. The symptoms is going to be identified and they to be treating. Now it is not like that. It is evidence-based treatment. Any doctor, if you go to him, he will going to be telling do this test. By seeing your hematology report, he is coming to know what is the problem with you and they start to treat. When the problem is identified properly, your disease has gone. You can get the treatment in a beautiful way. Definitely, you can come out with all sorts of problems. Okay, You can get the solution for the problem. So by defining the problem in market research, in defining the problem is one of the important things. So when, what you are going to do when you are defining the problem? We are going to be doing exploratory research. Exploratory research in recent design, we are having three types of research. That is one is exploratory and another one means uh, con con conclusive research. Under conclusive research, we are having two types. One is descriptive and causal. Exploratory research talks about exploring the things. It is going to be used to make your problem to be, okay, whether it is existing or not, to find out whether the problem is existing or not. This is one important thing which is going to be used in exploratory research. And the descriptive and causal are going to be used to describe the things. What is the cause which is going to be happened? What is the reason? What is going to be happened? This problem is happened. Let us say to take why Hindustan Unilever lost its market share in a beautiful brand called Rin in front of uh, PNG. PNG is killed the Hindustan Unilever's product called Rin, okay, with the product called Tide. Tide is a major market share than Hindustan Unilever. The cause you, might, you are going to be finding out. This cause is going to be found out by using only descriptive research. To find out cause and effect, we are going to be using causal research. C-A-U-S-A-L, causal research. So by 
the first thing is that define the problem next you are trying to approach developing an approach to the problem and now developing a research plan is nothing else that you are trying to design the mark the research design is going to be done the research design is going to be selecting any one thing and the next one the fourth step is that formulating research strategy we are having two things inductive research and deductive research in inductive research we will go on doing a research work at the end we are getting an answer that is called as an inductive research it is called as a hill climbing but in deductive research we are hypothetically putting an hypothesis let us take one small example one of your friend you take any one name mayendra is a good boy it is an hypothesis you will try to define whether he is a good boy or not you will go on doing a research work and find out and you will prove it whether he is a good boy or bad boy so why if the hypothesis which you are going to be taken is called as a null hypothesis after proving if he is not a good boy if he is a bad boy then is it is called as an alternative hypothesis so why formulating the research strategy is that whether you are going with inductive or deductive research very very important thing and next step is that data collection how you are going to be collecting the data Think that I wanted to know about the, the students who are uh, join my class. Let us try to take one small example. You people have joined the class, and I wanted to know about you guys. I am going to be knowing your register number, other things. If I want to know more about you guys, this which is available with you know. If I wanted to know more about you is that I must do a primary research work. The existing data is called as a secondary data. already which is with your you know if i'm going with your background and verification and other things i can find out lot of information which is given from you which is available in you know that is called secondary data if i want to know more about you means today morning one girl was telling i wanted to start my own a business like that that is primary data first stand information for your research secondary data is going to be helping you to do some problem definitions that is defining the problem properly and knowing about the company i knowing about what actually happening what is the total sales which was earlier what is the total sales now and all these things to know why the sales is reduced and to know why the advertisement is not at all accepted by the customer you must do a research work that is called as a collecting the data first hand information that is called as a primary primary data so why primary data is very very important for because it is giving an answer for your existing problem it is giving an answer for your existing problem primary data the next one is that to collect all these things you are having a population let us try to take india is having 140 crore population how the company is coming and telling by taking only 10000 samples it is going to be telling bjp bjp is winning or uh, this or congress is winning or rap is winning like this how they are going to be defining some few uh, this or what is that uh, parties are going to be winning so we are using sampling technique what is this sampling technique this sampling technique is going to be divided into two parts what actually sample means sample itself is going to be defined as a subset of the population it is defined as subset of the population let us say you take one small example if i am going to be taking a sample of your blood it is a subset one drop of your blood is going to be talking about hematology of your body it is there is no need to draw find of liters from your body if i am going to be drawing you are dead so why one drop of your blood is giving hematology of your body that is very very important one let us say you take one small example i will put a question for all the students who are there in my class can you talk for 5 minutes regarding chili chicken i think that everyone is knowing about chili chicken so why when i am going to be selecting the population i must be very careful if any vegetarian is there how come they are knowing about non vegetarian thing so why when the sample is drawn 
the population should be homogeneous. Population should be homogeneous. Otherwise, it is going to be a sample error. If if I'm going to be asking the same question for a vegetarian, she is going to be Ari, she is going to be telling that I am a vegetarian, I'm not knowing about a chili chicken. So the question here is that when I'm going to be selecting sample, you must be very careful. In this sample, we are adding sample plan and sample size, and we are going to be adding sample frame. The area which you will be taking is called as a sample frame. Sample plan means who is your respondent. Sample unit of plan means who is your respondent. For a drug company, for a drug company, patient is not a respondent. For a drug company, for a drug company, doctor is respondent. So why sample plan or sample unit is doctor? So you must be very careful who is your sample plan. And sample says you are going to be taking very less. If you are going to take half of the population, then there is no fun. You are trying to do just like a census. Census is asking each and every element of the population. Over 140 crore cannot be asked questions. 82 crore people who are casting vote, they cannot be asked same questions. So we are going to be making a sample. So this is very important. We are making one frame, sample frame. For example, in Bangalore means Central Bangalore, North Bangalore, South Bangalore, East Bangalore, West Bangalore. We are going to be dividing and we are doing a particular, uh, this one what is the uh, research. So by sampling technique, we are having two types of sampling technique now. After sample plan, sample frame and sample size. Sample size can be, if you are doing a project, it can be minimum 100, you can take it and do it. If the company size itself is 100 means, you can take 30 to 40, that's all, 50%. But when the population is high, don't go more than 100 to 300, that's all. So this is one thing which you wanted to keep in your mind. When it comes to sampling technique, we are having two types of sampling technique. One is probability, another one is non-probability. What is probability sampling? What is non-probability sampling? Think that in your class, around 60 students are there. If I'm going to be calling roll number six stand-up means, I'm not all knowing your name. And roll number 21 stand-up means, I'm not all knowing your name. Otherwise, I'll put all 60 names to cheat and I'll ask one to come and pick anyone to cheat. Every single element of the population is having a chance to be selected. In that particular 60 cheat, you can be, anyone can be selected, but all 60 is having a chance to be selected. So why? Probability here is that 1 by 60 to be selected. Anyone can be selected, 1 by 60. So probability sampling means every element of the population is having a chance to be selected. If I am going to be calling by name, others are not allowing a chance to be selected, non-probability. So why we are having two techniques called probability sampling as well as non-probability sampling. Okay. And we are having four types of probability sampling and four types of non-probability sampling. Okay. Let us try to start with non-probability sampling. One minute, I will take a break and I will start.
yeah let us start uh, now what is probability and non probability and let us try to talk about the different types of probability non probability sampling when it comes to non probability sampling we are having four types and probability sampling we are having four types let us start with first one in probability sampling we are having simple yes sir yes simple random sampling random means what selecting the people randomly for example think that you are cooking rice in an open vessel cooking rice in an open vessel whether the to pick one rice and you are going to be pressing it whether it is boiled or not to check it so why randomly you are selecting any one rice and you are pressing that one and that is called simple random sampling or you can make it as a lottery system lottery system okay that is SRS. The second type is systematic random sampling. Systematic random sampling is just like simple random sampling, but with one system which is going to be added. Think that your population size is 100, capital N is 100, sorry, uh, 10,000. And you wanted to take population is 10,000 and sample is 100. You wanted to take 100 sample from 10,000 people. You, that is called k is equal to capital N divided by small n. It means that 10,000 divided by 100. Four zeros divided by two zeros. Then what is the total which you are going to be directly getting? 10,000 divided by 100 means 100. k is equal to 100. The first step is that you find out k value. Second step, by using simple random sampling, select any one number. It can be any one number in 1 in 100. Think that you are selected 99 one number simple random sampling the third step is that for the first number add k you are going to be getting second number and add k for second number you are going to be getting third number if i am adding 99 plus k is 100 the second number should be second person should be 199 third person should be 299 like that, the 100% should be 99,999, 100%. Systematically, we are going to be selecting that person and how we are going to be knowing that numbers. For example, your sample frame is in voters list. It is very easy. The voters list is going to be giving one to one lakh, okay? How many people are there in that particular area? For example, Vijayanagar, for example, Jainagar, in Bangalore, I'm telling. For example, Indranagar. You are having voters list one two three for that having so why it is easy the next one is that stratified sampling technique how we are trying to do status think that you wanted to collect which party is going to be winning you are going to be dividing the whole population into three stratas one is urban another one is semi-urban another one is rural village and obli is called as an rural, taluk headquarters are called as in semi-urban, district headquarters is called as in urban. So why three parts you are going to be taking and your 100 part is going to be divided into three parts here. You are asking some part for urban, some part for semi-urban, some part for rural. Think that the total population of your constituency is 1 lakh. In urban, 60,000 people are staying. In semi-urban, around 10,000 people are staying. And in rural, 30,000 people are staying. If you wanted to select 100 sample, if you are selecting 60 from urban, 10 from semi-urban, 30 from uh, rural, then it is called as a proportionate stratified sampling technique. Proportionate, the, proportionate to the population of the uh, area, you are selected the sample also. So it is called as a proportionate stratified sampling. If it is not proportionate according to the population, then it is called as a disproportionate stratified sampling. Let us go with the next one, cluster. Okay. Why we are making strata means within the strata, it is homogeneous. Strata to strata, it is heterogeneous. The people who are in city, it is homogeneous. And urban, they are homogeneous sorry semi-urban semi rural they are homogeneous 
<coughs> but their pattern of rural to urban is totally different <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry so we are making status like that then what is cluster we are dividing the population into a number of clusters within the cluster it is heterogeneous clusters to cluster it is homogeneous okay we are going to be selecting one cluster and we are making it and we go on making that cluster like this okay for example if you go for any one khb housing uh, uh, karnataka housing board uh, and this one what is that uh, uh, buildings or bda uh, this one what is that uh, sites we are having four types one is ews sites okay economically weaker section sites and 20, 2013 uh, for poor and 30 40 for middle class and for rich 60 for for uh, upper middle class 60 40 and the 80 50 is for rich they are going to be making four to five segment if you go on taking every area we are having all these five classes so when here one cluster is having different types of people another cluster is also different type of people and all these five areas are like that only if media is going to be done and we are going to be making different different clusters so why it's called as a cluster sampling if you go for non-property sampling the first one is convenience sampling what actually convenience sampling means according to your convenience you are going to be collecting the data for example you are doing a research work if it is non-property you are going to be administering the questionnaire for your friends for your relatives for your neighbors or you are going to be uh, going and stopping some people who are entering into mall, mall intercept you are going to be calling. Convenience. Thousands of people are entering into mall every weekend. So you can find out and you can get the questionnaire to be answered. Convenience of the sampling. The second type in your non property is judgment sampling. Judgment is whether the respondent is right or wrong, you are going to be judging. Let us try to take if it is a washing machine, if it is a dishwasher. Who is your end user? Who is going to be your respondent? Every girl is going to be telling it can be a lady. If it is housewife, it can be a lady. If it is working woman, means it can be lady or gent. Yeah, both of them are going to be using that washing machine. Both of them are knowing. Dishwasher also, both of them they are knowing how to uh, keep the vessels and how to remove it. Everything they are knowing. Okay, But if it is housewife, your respondent is going to be only working uh, this one what is that housewives so when 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 a lawyer is going to be taking some clients uh when when when, when a person is coming uh if, if someone is stabbing some other one and a lot of people are seeing who has stabbed that one and he is going to be trying to make the uh, crime who has done that crime and he is going to be selecting who can be the better person to come and tell in the court like that he is going to be judging in that particular people who are going to be there so why uh, the judgment is going to be taken by you who can be your respondent the third one is that quota sampling when you are taking any one uh, what are you going to call uh, uh, respondent uh, thing you must make a quota 60 percent gents 40 percent women you must give quota when you are going to be telling otherwise you you can make four quotas Above uh, 22, 30, uh, 50 percent, 30 to 40, 20 percent, 40 to 50, 10 percent, 50 to 60, 5 percent. Like this, you can make quota asking questions for the different different age group. So, a quota sampling is there, and we are, we are uh, having another one uh, particular technique in our uh, this one. What is that? Uh, non property sampling okay non property sampling when it comes to non property sampling we are trying to take one uh, uh, sampling called referred sample okay a referred sample means what means the first system which is going to be happening is one person is going to be selected with some references convenience sampling but the next one is going to be selected with a reference guide the referred sampling is going to be happening. For example, you wanted to do a research work in software industry. You are knowing only one your uncle who is working in software. You wanted to collect 100, uh, this one, what is that, uh, data. What you want to do, you are going to be talking to your uncle's friend. 
he is giving all inputs for you the next thing which is going to be happening is that for a second you are requesting your uncle friend to give two references he is giving two references you are collecting the data again you are going to be asking two two references from the two people it is going to be four again you are going to be asking references from that four people four four seven sixteen again you are asking for references from that sixteen people sixteen sixteen two fifty six like it is going to be chain reaction it is fission it is not fusion just like an autumn bomb okay so uh, we are having that type of things okay next one is let us come to marketing market information system what is this market information system it is having four parts one is internal records market intelligence system market decision support system market research let us come with the first one okay market thing when when it comes to market research also we are knowing market internal records we are knowing market intelligence system okay market intelligence system it can be viewed continuously scanning or monitoring the environment okay which is going to be continuous you are going to be taking lot of in, inputs from them and this is going to be done according to the data warehousing digital support system is going to be supported with data warehousing huh? data warehousing so what do you wanted to do when you are trying to find out when you are trying to find out this particular data uh, digital support system this is going to be supported with data warehouse data warehouse when you are going to be doing data mining in that particular data warehouse it is going to be giving a lot of inputs for you which can make you to decide uh, it is giving the concrete information for you to take a decision so why uh, mis system is one of the important thing which you are going to be using in our day-to-day uh, -day works okay let us go with the next one one minute forecasting what do you mean by forecasting anybody else hello no sir not clear what is you know forecast yeah. forecasting yeah. for for example you are thinking you are working in one company you are forecasting where you are going to be put up within five years or ten years are you going to be knowing or not you are going to be thinking i can be in that particular place or not Yes or no? Let us try to take one small example. If the rainy season is good, whether the fertilizer companies are going to be forecasting there will be very good demand for them or not? Yes or no? Future demand can be decided by rainy season or not? Yes or no? If the economy is going to be now uh, see think that uh, there is a uh, dollar uh, uh, price is increased, there is a war which is happening, and there is no good business which is happening between our country to other countries. Our oil prices are shooting up. Oil prices directly making our product to go up. All these things, if it is going to be happening, the economy is going to be coming down. It means that money transaction is coming down. Definitely, can you think that future for one year or two year, the demand is going to be less or not? Yes or no? So we are trying to see future what is going to be happening with present data we are trying to take a decision on future by seeing the present data we can anticipate and we can plan for our future demand by doing forecasting that is very very important one for everything let us try to take some few companies started to do forecasting hatchback cannot be there in future started to go ahead before others change let us try to take the first company to come out with that type of product is that Renault. We are going to be calling it as a Renault. No, it is Renault. Renault came out with Quid. A small, it is just like an hatchback. It is a sport utility vehicle, like that small car, which made 1 lakh sales. Very big pull was there. Everyone started to see towards Renault. Everyone started to come out with a medium sized SUVs. It started to become very big sales. What has happened for your Maruti? Maruti lost his market share. It is having only 9% in SUV segment. Major market share is with Tata's around 18.6 and 
Another one is around 17.8 your Mahindra and Mahindra. Mahindra Maruti has lost a lot of market share in your uh, this one SUV because they came out with n number of brands and your uh, Udai, they started to do fantastic business with Tata as well as Venue. Okay, I'm talking about if you are coming earlier, first more advantage will be there. Okay, one minute. Two minutes, I'll be coming.
đẹp ha Dạ chiếc sức có, được có Dạ chiếc sức được có Nà 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 nghĩ là nà 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 Sir, shall we leave the class and join at 3 p.m.? हेलो Yes, I can. Yes, Hello, sir. Can we leave the class and join at 3 p.m.? One minute. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. You can join at 3 p.m. All of you can join at 3 p.m. Right? Okay, sir. Okay, please. All of you can join at 3 p.m. <laughs> 